Well, my name is Gito Torrey, and I'm the Director of Public Policy for Ducks Unlimited. Uh, so I'm Mike Schreiber, I'm the Great Lakes Regional Executive Director for the National Wildlife Federation. I started going to some of the meetings and I kind of got um, kind of drawn into the group and became, you know, a member of the board and got more and more involved. But I, I just believed in what the organization was doing. Primarily my interest in wetlands and wetland restoration and doing good things on the landscape to make our ecosystem better. Um, I've been here for about four or five years. I came, I was a professor at the University of Michigan prior to that, and I came here out of a passion for water. I heard about this uh, place called Humbug Marsh, which uh, contains the last natural shoreline on the U.S. side of the Detroit River. It was 400 acres that was purchased by a developer that wanted to develop it into homes and a marina and a golf course. I just thought, <clears throat> that's something that should be saved and I would support that. Try to make sure that they understand that, hey, this isn't just doing something for clean water or for ducks. People are being impacted through jobs, mm -hmm. through economy, through stimulus and, and leveraging of businesses and so forth, so. I was a uh, camp counselor for the summer before I went to college and I had kids playing in this stream. And to make a long story somewhat short, at the end of the summer I learned that it was the most polluted waterway in Ohio. So I went into my college career going, why is that? You know, I wanted to learn more. And that's led me on this pathway over the last 20 plus years um, to be an advocate for clean water in all of its forms. And, you know, I've spent most of the last 20 years living here in Michigan and advocating for the Great Lakes. We're all advocating together mm -hmm. to put, to get this money from Congress and Congress realizes, they look at what we're doing and say, we're getting things done. And so there's money coming forth because the Great Lakes Restoration and partners get things done for the Great Lakes. The habitat restoration projects have demonstrably uh, improved habitat. I've been kayaking on the Detroit River the last 18 years. So I've been just about everywhere on the river. And you can see things in a different way in a kayak. Yeah. You're up close and personal with nature with uh, natural areas and to see what's there. Uh, I know when I first started the paddle on, on the Detroit River, it was it was just one revelation after another that, you know, turtles and bullfrogs and, you know, all the bird species that are out there. Um, it was just amazing to me, the wildlife. To me, it's very uh, satisfying to see what's happened in some of these areas where, uh, Water quality has been improving uh, somewhat from our projects, but also in general. Seeing the, the species returning, um, you know, sturgeon returning, whitefish returning, uh, bald eagles returning, um, osprey, uh, beavers, all kinds of things that weren't here 20 years ago. It's really exciting to see. Yeah, that must be really rewarding. It is. Well, Ducks Unlimited is really engaged in putting wetlands back on the landscape, and that's our mission. Our mission is to protect, restore, and enhance wetlands for the benefit of waterfowl and other wildlife and, of course, people. So in the last five years, we have been really active in the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, and we have restored almost 25,000 acres of wetlands throughout the Great Lakes states, working with over 85 different partners. That's about 80 projects and it's almost uh, $40 million. So recreation, we love to have people uh, to have great places to go out and hunt and fish and kayak and bird watch. So. The common interest that we get together on is restoring the lakes themselves. And so we form this group, we form this coalition, and you know this coalition is the driving force behind the four, nearly $4 billion that has gone into the Great Lakes Restoration. Well, there's still lots of areas that could be restored for wetlands. I mean, in the Great Lakes overall, we've um, destroyed, we've lost about 50% of our original wetlands. Um, a lot of those lands are currently under farming or ranching. They're in low-lying areas that, you know, could be purchased and restored if the landowners were willing and, um, and if we had the money to do that. Mm -hmm. So we could be putting more wetlands back on the map and helping our water quality issues and helping our fish and wildlife populations. It's been a very satisfying experience to work with all the people on our staff and on our board to um, 
accomplish what we have